it's time to go over some of the finer details. The movie was released uh, September 1st, 2006, uh, to not a great opening. I think it was like 9 million, so it was like third <laughs> when it first came out. Um, had a $40 million budget and made 38.8 worldwide. Oh, oh dang. So it didn't, it wasn't a bomb per se, but yeah, didn't it didn't even break even. <clears throat> yeah. Movies have to like make three times their budget typically to actually approach breaking even status mm. because of the 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 that usually the production cost is a, is a half or a third of the overall money they spent when you can count marketing and stuff so yeah marketing. plus they don't get the entire box office um, revenue because they share it with the theaters yeah. so that's they tend to their general box office accounting is uh, you got to make time back three times your production budget to be considered uh, starting to make money yeah, yeah. So, so i guess that, that was definitely a, a bomb, bomb. yeah <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the movie, of course, is based on The Wicker Man, the 1973 version, but it was uh, the original was based off of a book named Ritual by David Pinner, which apparently this version is actually more accurate to the book than the 73 version. <laughs> hmm. Though uh, 80% of the lines in the screenplay for the new one came from the original, which seems lazy, huh. but... yeah. <laughs> Yeah, just like, a little like bit. straight up word for word, word it's for the same word. lines. Yeah, it's the same lines, but in different contexts and stuff. Like <laughs> you really move things wow. around. And uh, Neil Laboot was the, or Labut, is it Labut or is it Laboot? He said it Can on the commentary, it? and I don't remember. How's it spelled? It's French. Yeah, but he's definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> Neither is Brett Farbray. Right? No. So this was a a passion project from Neil Laboot. Um, he saw the original, apparently the original didn't make itself to the U.S. until like six years after it was released. So he didn't see it until like 1979 um, in an art house. And he thought, wow, what a weird, creepy, but fun movie and and has devoted a, a big portion of his life to making sure that this wonderful version came out. <laughs> That's crazy. That's actually pretty interesting. That he was approached by Nicolas Cage's production company he actually has his own studio called saturn films which if you look through his imdb almost every movie he's ever been in has been a co-production with saturn films oh, that, makes, that sense. makes sense this movie has a 15 percent <laughs> score on rotten tomatoes <laughs> <laughs> and uh, is that I the, the audience i thought the audience score was going to be better but it's actually only 17 percent so oh <laughs> <laughs> real, real bad. Wow. I, I did see like Google put it at like 53 or 57 percent of people really liked it. That's the meme audience. Yeah, yeah I was going to say that's just meme. <laughs> uh, Metacritic score was 36 percent. So I guess that's a little little better than 15, but not mm -hmm. much. 